Good morning, everyone. This is your host, Not About Gaming. I am very happy to have you here on this wonderful day. Now, we're going to be playing Kerbal Space Program, and Update 1.3 has just come out a little while ago, and there has been massive development changes and a <laughs> whole bunch of details with Kerbal Space Program. And we're also going to try to build a space plane, so hopefully we can succeed. Okay, so the biggest thing is with update 1.3, it's called Away With Words. Now, what this update entails is it's basically, it's available in more languages. That is massive. They've integrated so many more languages that pretty much anybody's going to be able to play this game now. It's great. And they still manage to keep all the humor and everything in the game. It's going to be absolutely fantastic for pretty much anybody who hasn't played the game yet and wanted to. Now, with that being said, there's also a big mod update to the game. They added a mod called Asteroid Day. Now, I went to Asteroid Day's website on, I think it was Curse, and I checked it out, and what it is is you're, you're basically recreating the sentinel mission that is happening in the real world. Now, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to, well, in the real world, they're developing a telescope to orbit near Venus and face away from the sun to detect any possible incoming asteroids. Because we have a blind spot and can't see asteroids coming towards us from the sun, that's why they're doing this. So the asteroid will face towards Earth at Venus and thus eliminate the blind spot, hoping to give us a little bit of an early warning detection against incoming asteroids. Which is pretty significant, and hopefully they get it to work. Because I don't want to die! <laughs> but yeah, it's really cool, and they're doing that in Kerbal Space Program now. And yeah, it's actually pretty cool. You have to develop special, there's actual special parts and a special mission built in to Kerbal now, Kerbal Space Program, so you can do this. I thought it was really neat and I'm really happy to see the developers putting that kind of thought into the game still. Now, that being said, there was some pretty big movements going on with Kerbal Space Program lately. Seven of the developers were convinced to go to Valve uh, to work on future projects for them. That being said, I don't know what those projects will be. That is entirely up to Valve. But we all know what Valve's quality is because they have pumped out games like Portal and Half-Life. So we could see great things coming from this. And another massive update was Kerbal Space Pro The rights to Kerbal Space Program was actually just purchased by Take-Two Productions. They are the parent company to Rockstar Games. Now, Take-Two Productions has produced games such as Borderlands and also Bioshock. So we know they have what it takes to make great games. That being said... Who knows what's in store for Kerbal Space Program because I'm guessing they're going to want to make the game more accessible for people that have never heard about it. But at the same time, they also have to be very careful not to not to upset the diehard fans of the game. Like, for example, they're probably going to want to make it a little bit easier for some people to get up into space. And, you know, I can see that. That's cool and all, but the diehards of the game are going to want it just the way it was. I understand why, too. Because I actually am having fun trying to learn how to do things the right way in the game. I know, it sounds weird, right? But, yeah. So, Take-Two Productions has their work cut out for them, but with, like I said, with such high-quality games as Bioshock and Borderlands... I think we'll be okay in the Kerbal Space Space Program community. This is so hard to rotate. Ah! 
<laughs> Jiminy. Okay, we're getting close. Eh, ah, there we go. Ah, oh, why did I do that? I need two. There we go. Alright. Okay, we have that in place. Ooh, that looks funky like that. Let's lower that a bit. Still looks a bit weird. That's a little less weird. Still looks weird, but we're gonna work with it anyway. Okay. Strange looking scoops, but <clears throat> we're gonna go with it. <laughs> See if it works for us. Now, what else can we do to this little plane? I'm trying to make it balanced and that's pretty difficult. How are we doing for thrust here? You know, our lift is actually pretty close to our center of mass. Now, bang on. There we go. Okay, so we need some elements. I know, I said that wrong. I don't really care. <laughs> ah! There we go. Okay, come on. There we go. Nice, this is actually working. I'm shocked. Okay, let's get some small engines on there if we can. And I mean small. Those are not small, but they're cool. I don't even care. <laughs> Let's try it. What do we got to lose, right? This thing's gonna be heavy. <laughs> okay, we need a couple of tires, or well, wheels on this thing. Okay, let's try that, there we go. Now, if I'm not mistaken, they gotta, oops. Oh, geez. What have I done? There we go. They go like this, I think. Yeah, they go like that. And then we need one more on the nose. Just solo, though. Okay. Now we gotta move the bottom one, or move the ones on the wings. They're up too high. We like them attached, preferably. Geez. And we're gonna raise whoop, that one. Okay, now we need to right click. And this is. No, we don't want it. No steering. Now, hopefully, this one did it too. Steering disabled. Good. All right. That's good. Okay, let's try this one. We'll call it the Hopper. We'll call it Hopper Mark II because I already made a Hopper and it didn't work too well. So hopefully this one works. I have no idea. These engines are absolutely massive, so I probably don't need like very much throttle at all. We'll find out together. <laughs> Okay, Jebediah, you're my man. Oh, I don't tell me edit. That's not gonna work. Hmm, what type of engine should we put on? Something not ridiculous. Panther? Or the Rapier? Let's put on a Rapier engine. That thing is huge, man! How's our center of weight? Oh! We're like, bang on. <laughs> right on. Save and launch. Ok, 
Okay, test flight of the Rapier Hopper Mark II. Oh, man. Okay. It's kind of stable. What's going on? How did I make a stable aircraft? Gear up! I made a stable aircraft! What the heck? Yeehaw! This thing hauls butt, too. I like how they uh, changed it so you don't burn massive amounts of fuel anymore with just a jet engine. And holy moly are we cooking. 300 meters per second. Woohoo! Those G-forces were getting a bit tough there. Okay, let's turn on pilot assist here. There we go. That's better. Okay, Jeb. Let's punch it. Let's see what this plane can do. Dude, this is awesome. 500 meters per second in climbing. We are freaking rocketing. This is great. I love it. Shoot for the moon! No, we don't have enough fuel to get to the moon. Oh god, we're burning up! Slow down! Holy moly! 3,000 feet per second! And climbing! And I got it on one third thrust! Woohoo! We're approaching upper atmosphere. We gotta be careful here. Wow, this is phenomenal. Oh, this plane works so well. I'm actually impressed with myself. Dude, this has got to be like the first success for me in a long time. Okay, so we need to slow down, we'll cut engines and just kind of coast for a minute. All right, point this down towards the horizon. Holy moly. We turn too much. We're going to totally destroy our jet here. All right, one-third throttle for this turn. All right, let's try it. Come on, you can do this. G-forces are getting a bit tough. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. Well, don't tell me he's blacking out. Alright, there we go. Whoa. What was that? Thrust down, level off, and whoa, wrong button. <laughs> All right, come on. We can do this. We can do this. Maybe. go okay we're doing good now let's try and land this back at Kerbin all right punch it <laughs> love this jet this thing's awesome man it goes so fast and it flies so well <laughs> this is great one of these days, I need to uh, design one of my favorite planes. is actually from Battlestar Galactica. Oh, jeez. Let's slow down a bit. 
It's actually, uh, I'll have to find the name of it, but yeah, it's uh, an enemy ship from Battlestar Galactica, and I just have always loved the design of it. I thought it was super amazing. So, okay, where are we flying to? I don't know where home is. All right, throttle down, come on. Slow down here. I think we're going in the right direction here. Yep. Not quite. We gotta turn more this way. Kerbin's over there. Ah. Holy G forces, man. That was crazy. I don't think I'll be able to land on the runway. I'm not that talented, but we're gonna try. Here's hoping. Okay. Jeb, you're my man. I know you can do this. Maybe. Maybe the new update was the update I needed so I could learn how to fly in, Kerb in Kerbal Space Program. I'm hoping anyway. Yeah, that or I finally figured out how to build a space plane. Because, I mean, this thing's just flying. Like, insane. Alright, here we go. I think I might actually be able to touch down on the runway. Kill engines. Gear down. Try to get some drag. Oh boy, losing that altitude a little quick there. Come on. Oh boy, this is a little touchy. Oh geez, what are you doing, Rick? Okay, come on, Jeb. Don't let me down, man. Kill engines. Let's come in for a coasting, coasting landing. Oh geez. That's not the runway. Ah! Hey, Jeb's still alive. <laughs> okay, well, um, the plane worked, but I still need to learn how to fly. But I'm doing a lot better. I actually like got really close to the landing strip. Okay, but um, that's it for me today, everyone. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and a subscription would be wonderful. If not, that's okay. I hope you guys enjoyed all of the news for Kerbal Space Program, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Just talk to you later. Bye-bye!